Jennifer Lawrence heads to Mother Russia in a new thriller, Red Sparrow. Hey, uh, I'd like to see you again. Why are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? I don't have any. Red Sparrow is the second movie in less than a year to feature a butt-kicking lead character from Russia go undercover. The other one was Atomic Blonde starring Charlie's Theron, and like that movie, this one isn't quite as clever as it thinks it is. One of the big problems with Red Sparrow is it can't decide what it wants to be. Is it a schlocky, sleazy spy thriller? In a few parts, yes. Is it a super dark drama about females being sexually assaulted by agents of their own government? Also yes. Is it a story of intrigue and double-cross? Of course. But between multiple plot twists and misdirection, the movie doesn't know how to balance anything out. Which is too bad, because the cast, which includes Jennifer Lawrence, Joel Edgerton, and Jeremy Irons, gives solid, nuanced performances. Directed by Francis Lawrence, who also directed Jennifer Lawrence in several of the Hunger Games movies, he takes a more calculated, slower-paced approach to this than those blockbusters. You can tell both Jennifer Lawrence and he relish in digging into a movie that's a hard R rating. But because the movie keeps the main characters at an arm's length, you never care for them or the people they're trying to protect, so there's no stakes or tension, just a whole lot of darkness. And at its egregiously long 2 hours and 20 minutes, there's not enough story here to justify that investment of time and money. This is a rental only at best. I give this 2 Joes out of 5. To read my review, check out St. Joe Live from Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press, or go online to stjoelive.com. And join me next week as I review Disney's A Wrinkle in Time. Until then, we'll be live at the movies. See you later.